Revising chemistry can be very tough, and it really is all in the details. Here are three revision hacks to help improve your progress in chemistry and help you make the most of your study time ahead of an examination. So, hack one. When making Cornell notes, leave lots of gaps around what you are writing. And then either soon after or later on, maybe the next day, go back through and enhance each mention of a chemical compound with different structures, different types of formula, names, dot and cross diagrams, the works. It will really help you dive deeper into each question and equation that you cover and boost your general subject knowledge. Hack number two. When you're doing a past paper calculation, do your answer on a great big post-it note and then repeat the question different times over the next week or so. Don't worry if you get it wrong once or even twice. That's kind of part of the idea because using this technique, you can learn from your own mistakes. Compare all of your post-it notes after about three run-throughs and then look for habits or changes in layout that you could use to inform your behavior with exam questions in the future. Remember that a correct answer should also be nice and clear to an examiner. Hack number three. Lots of people obsess over definitions on flashcards when they revise, and unfortunately, they often fall short of being very useful. So to boost their quality, make sure you always add an actual chemical example to every definition you cover, or maybe even more. Definitions in exams always come up alongside associated chemistry, so why shouldn't your revision of them? Thanks very much for watching, everybody. If you did find this video helpful and would like to see more of this style, make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment on your best tip from the list. Until next time, though, happy revising.